Welcome in the makeup therapy. I'm Manuela, 44 years old, a uh, makeup lover who thinks that um, makeup has a um, therapeutic value. For sure, I feel like that and that's why I'm doing the, this channel that brings me to come back to my makeup and not give up with myself. Uh, that easy. <laughs> Today, uh, yesterday, um, I uh, made a live when I show all of um, palette um, which are full um, color story in my opinion which I own and I, I'm planning that's my dream that I will use all of them in that area that uh, fall in autumn and uh, this is the palette which I have a pretty long time it's an old uh, palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Subculture. Lots of people hate this palette. Uh, I adore the color story. I think it's very beautiful. Mine is obviously old. Um, but yeah, I want to use it today. And if you are interested in how I come up with some full look with this palette, please keep on watching. Okay, so I prime my eyes with the Pillow Ease uh, uh, Rumor O2 Primer and I feel a little bit in my brow with the... Unfortunately, very short time I had this this one. Uh, it's a Beauty Bay um, Micro um, Liner. Micro Brow Liner or, or so. And... Oh my god. I will go with this shade here with the edge. I know that this is a pigment, they are powdery, this is like old palette and I give all forgiveness for that. Uh, whatever is falling down, you know, because um, I know that we have no different formulas on the market and that everything is just getting fantastic. But this color story, I I was in love. I think that it's very beautiful and it's my type of color story. I love that kind of tealish greens and uh, I this shade here was my dream for the long time. So I was really long time thinking to get this palette and the price point and the opinion was not making me getting it very fast like people was not happy with this palette and there's lots of very terrible opinions like that this is a trash but I like it and it's worth it to to make your own opinion every time <laughs> So this is how it goes in the front, the, the shade edge. I want the fall look, I want the scatter look, that's what I'm going for today. Yes, the scatter looks are my favorite. Mm. So not making any surprise for anybody I think who will watch me. <laughs> I, I do like scatter looks. Mm. I think that I will go with this shade now. With this green destiny, the dark green ish, and the brush from Attitude Cosmetics. Top of the wood. And up. Before I start to blend down place on the other side also, so like this. I don't bother with myself when I have fallout because how I use this, my technique is just provoking to make a fallout in the first place. And the second, I just clean my face after using this. And I will be fine. 
So I understand that not it's not a, everyone's cup of tea this palette. And especially like now, I, I have it and I will not get rid of it because it's more of sentimental. It's a proof that dream come true for me a bit, you know, one of many proofs. And it's good to have it, it's like a talisman. I don't use it much. I bought this palette for myself and for my sister. I make her surprise, I bought for her palette. And yeah, it's special for me, you know, that's that special, special volume. Uh, <clears throat> I'm taking a smaller brush, like more condensed, like a round one, and I'll get to this shade, uh, which is X, this, this pretty one. Now I'll put that here in the... Oh, this shade is so pretty. I love this this kind of shades, like tea shades, so pretty. Mm -hmm. I think also that shades are very hard to do, and most of them are really doing the not great job taking the blending br the brush which I was having previous shade but I think that for watercolor kind of um, technique like you have that wash of colors and they just the colors should play just together I think that this is quite cool part the pigment is there and you know you can top one of the another and getting the tip the depth Deep, deep. Drown deep. Okay, I have this. <clears throat> I will put to. Um, I will put now shimmer, and it will be the electric. It's not complicated. Look what I'm doing today. I'm not doing most of my <laughs> looks are not complicated in general. If you want easy looks uh, to watch, then hello, this is channel for you. You are welcome, and hit that subscribe button, and you'll see that I'm doing more than one. Easy look. That needs uh, help. <laughs> Let's see if it helps. It will, once we'll give this help, it will be nice. We need to do some spray. Spray. Let's spray it with Get Out Slay all day. And and <laughs> see this magic. So. This is very pretty shade. I didn't have any like um, eye on Anastasia Beverly Hills new palette, but this this year she did it. She make my heart beat faster a bit. But that last um, the mm, the fall uh, palette, which is right now the newest from her, I think that that palette is so pretty. And I have a little, little crush on that palette. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Obviously, I have enough uh, to, to do all of four looks and I don't need that one. Uh, I have also in plans to get the um, Cosmic Brushes new one and Attitude Cosmetics say that next month it will also bring to, to the market the new palette, so that's what I'm eyeing for. But if someone wants to make me surprise, there is no one who will do that, but uh, <laughs> you know, I will be in the different uh, family situation. Uh, I'll write to Santa that I really want that. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, it looks, it's very pretty, but also pricey. Mm. Yeah. I think it's lovely. I like it. I like it. I feel good in that kind of boom eyes. So that's my. Mm, I would say it, I'm, I'm in my comfort zone. Another attitude to the brush. And uh, I'll do the lower lash line. Maybe I'll do that kind of warmer brown. It's called Fuge. warm and uh, you can see that it's that kind of orangey shades more orange uh, brown it's, it will be very much seen on me I don't mind looking pretty love it love 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 mm, I love you <laughs> love you my palette I was dreaming about you for many days and nights because girl like me is dreaming about cosmetics now I'll take this um, cube this right here and I'll put it in the corner to the circle and leave it on down, on that portion here. Too. Very pinkish. I don't want to give more of the green on the on the yellow. So this that's why it's the choice. This of the day. It's cool. Okay, thank you. That will be um for eyeshadows, I will use my panic project um, liner and other bits, and I will come back to just show you how I f uh, finesse my face. <laughs> I hope that, uh, yeah, you'll just keep watching. <laughs> That's my final look and I will tell you quickly what I use to come to my face complexion. Bardzo, 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 that's Polish. I, I'm, I'm Polish native speaker, <laughs> you can hear me. Um, anyway, <laughs> I will not cut this off, I will keep it. Um, that's my concealer, Maybelline eraser. I use um, the primer from Unique, Touch of Glory, it's a very nice primer. Under my eye, I use the primer from I use the use the primer from Makeup Academy and it's under eye primer. I'm testing this and it's very hydrating, very nice. And uh, I use uh, this um, Ilumasca More Than Foundation um, product. <laughs> and uh, powder is a uh, bingo from Glam Shop. My contour is made with Hula which I'm panning in my Wakanda project. And for the cheeks, I use um, other bronzer, which I love, Kiko Milano, um, br baked bronzer. It smells so good. Natasha Denona, it's in my panning project, this uh, cheek um, rose cheek duo. And I use the highlight from here. It's very pretty, very flattering. And uh, I use also Luminoso by Milani um, blush. So powder blush 
Okay, now uh, for the lashes, I use the Kachi Eye um, mascara, and then I use some one product extra on my uh, lower lash line. I showed you my um, panning project uh, liner from Kiko, and I use a little bit other product from ColourPop, such as stick from ColourPop, and I use it just in the front because I kind of feel like I have to. Uh, there's no rules obviously and for my for the lips I use this uh, set from Cash Beauty and this is um, um, Cash Beauty uh, Mother Legacy uh, matte lipstick uh, uh, lipstick and liner and this is a uh, shade ombre or the set called ombre very lovely I highly recommend that if you are able to catch something from Cash Beauty definitely this is the one which I, I will say that it's it's really lovely. You, you could see it's comfortable and nice wear. Um, that's it for my first. Um, so I can put that back to the to the shelf uh, for my uh, my you know sweet memories. That's a very um, dream come true, um, proof of dream come true for me product. And I will keep it. Uh, uh, I will put that away. So I have a pile which I'm keeping aside, and I will I will try to make with all of those uh, palettes in the look. So we did the Queen of Conquer uh, by P. Louis uh, on my life, and today it's this my comfort zone look uh, by um, Subculture by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a very beautiful week. I hope that um, uh, you're filled with your uh, good cozy vibes of uh, fall and uh, take care of yourself just like in playing you first and then you can share your love and whatever you wish to on your condition. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.